Are you getting error 2878 when trying to install ESET? Hi, my name is Ken. I'm from the Micro Center Tech Support Department. Today we're going to show you how to get rid of that error and successfully install ESET. Let's take a look. So to get started, go ahead and put in the ESET disk, or in this case we have an icon. We're just going to go ahead and install it. Click install here, and you'll get a warning here that other products were found. In this case, it is Norton Internet Security, and that is what causes the 2878 error. So for now, we'll go ahead and just abort this, and cancel out of the installation. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to the Start menu, Control Panel, Programs and Features. We're going to uninstall Norton Internet Security. So scroll down and double click on it. And from here, just choose please remove all user data, including stored passwords and quarantine. And we'll go ahead and click no here. Click next. And we'll uninstall. So once the uninstall process has completed, you will be prompted to restart the computer. So go ahead and click restart now, and the restart will begin. Once the computer boots back up, we have a few more steps to complete before we can install ESET. The first step is to create a system restore point. Since we will be dealing with the registry, it's always good measure to create a restore point to revert back to if any problems arise. So when to do that, click the start menu and type create a restore point. And hit enter. In the menu that appears here, we're going to click the Create button right down here, and that will create a restore point. We'll give it a name. In this case, we're removing Norton, so we'll name it Norton Uninstall. And then click Create. Once that's completed, you'll see the restore point was created successfully, and we can move on to the next step. The next step is to go to the Start menu. We're going to go into the Registry, so type in R-E-G-E-D-I-T, or RegEdit and hit enter. You'll be prompted for security, so click yes. And this will open up the registry. To find all the Norton keys within the registry here, hit the control key on your keyboard and then the F key, and that'll bring up the find menu. In the menu here, type in Norton and hit enter. This will search the registry for any keys containing the word Norton, which we will then remove. So once the search has completed, it'll highlight the key that has the word Norton in it, as you can see right here. It is a Norton Internet Security key. So what we're going to do is just hit the delete key on our keyboard, bring up a warning that deleting registry keys could cause system instability. That's okay. We'll just hit enter again for yes. And then to find the next Norton key, just hit the F3 key on the top of the keyboard there. It takes you to the next one. And then just repeat the process. Hit delete, then enter, then F3 again. Delete, enter, then F3. Just keep continuing this process. As long as it finds any keys, we need to delete them because those are what's getting in the way of the ESET install. If you get a message about it being unable to delete all specified values, that's okay. Just go ahead and hit enter here, and then we'll F3 to find the next one. All right, so once you see the pop-up message here that it's finished searching through the registry, that means you are done. You can hit OK here. And just for safe measure, go ahead and restart the computer one more time. Once the restart has completed, attempt to reinstall ESET. You can do this by reinserting the disk, or in this case, we're just going to click on the icon. Go ahead and click Install. And once you get this far, you can notice that the error is no longer appearing, so the ESET install will successfully finish at this point. Just follow through the prompts to get it activated. So that's how to remove error 2878 when installing ESET. If you have any other questions, please feel free to visit us at www.microcentertech.com.